Here's season one of the Good Wife Two Cents Review. So the concept of the show, the Clintons in Chicago in many different ways. Bill Clinton in Arkansas was the, a district attorney. He turned to be turned out to be the governor. Eventually, he had some marital infidelities, drama with the media he had to deal with. So you fast forward 25 years later, we live in a different world. And The Good Wife is going to get to that too, about the internet, that kind of things. It's kind of funny, but it's basically saying in, in so many subtle ways that if Bill Clinton was... What Bill Cl- Bill Hillary Clinton were brought up in this era in, in the 2000s era instead of the 1980s era, Bill Clinton possibly could not be the president of the United States because he got away with some stuff. He got away with them, some scandals because the media wasn't so prominent and the internet wasn't so prominent, etc. So that's the concept of um, of the Good Wife. It's even more prominent because. They, they instead of one kid, they have two kids. Uh, instead of being Arkansas, which is somewhat boring, sorry, people from Arkansas, they're in Chicago, so, uh, like a big city, but not like New York, big city. It's the second city, so it's still got that prominence there. And then it's also the concept of a woman uh, going, having to go back to work 15 years later while her husband's, husband's in prison. So season one, the, the backstory, the, the B-plot, so to speak, is always about her husband uh, trying to be uh, plead his innocence. His, he's guilty for having an affair with his wife, with prostitutes, but he's innocent for the scandals that he did and the reason why he's imprisoned. The A-plot is Alicia Florrick going to work 15 years later as a lawyer, and what makes, the, what makes um, the good wife always good is that they always have episodic... Uh, um, it's an episodic kind of episode where you have to know what happened in the episode before to really understand what's happening. But still, there's still always standalone episodes that take place. There's always the the news of the week, so to speak. And uh, and this year, they're centering on Alicia's kind of figuring out how to be a lawyer 15 years later while she has a little shine on her uh, her boss. Plus, she's got to deal with her, her, her mother-in-law and her two kids and her husband in prison and the scandal that's all behind that. So... She is the modern Hillary Clinton, and we'll see in the seasons go on what is going to happen. Why does the show work? Because it has the standalone episodes, and it has always kind of like the story of the week, and they make it into a law case. It has, uh, you know, work politics. There In season one, it's all about Alicia and Carrie. Um, Alicia and Carrie, almost like the Don Draper and Pete Campbell of... Uh, in Mad Men to Good Wife comparison where they're enemies and then, of course, the enemies will become friends and they'll form collusions together. That's what happened with Don and Pete. That's what's going to happen with Carrie and, and uh, Alicia. So, But they're in the season one is all about their conflict between each other and who's going to survive the year. Then you got, obviously, Peter's uh, political co- politics and the story of the week. So The Good Wife works. It's not incredibly smart. It's not incredibly sophisticated. But it's it's smart enough not to insult us, but it's still entertaining to keep us going in these 25, uh, 23, 20, 22 to 25 episode arcs. That's my season one review.